How to End Relationship Conflict and Discover True Love The Latin word conflictus, which means clash, is where the word conflict originates. It is occasionally characterized as the simultaneous manifestation of two opposing aspirations between individuals or groups of people, groups, communities, or nations, the source of which is an actual or perceived threat to one party's chances of a fulfilling life from the other. The disagreement may also be brought on by the two parties' divergent perspectives on particular values. We also discuss conflict when a single person has two demands that cannot both be met at once or two opposing reasons for acting. Representatives of numerous scientific fields, such as philosophers, psychologists, and sociologists, are interested in the topic of conflict, which explains the diversity of author perspectives and the range of definitions given to this concept. In any couple issue, it is best for the two partners to initially concentrate on the elements intended to enhance their communication. Any disagreement should not be avoided or disregarded, it should be resolved directly. As a result, we recognize the issue and work to find the best approach to address it with our partner. Just how? For instance, we can imitate actions that we are aware make our partner happy. Being considerate of the individual sitting next to us is a good thing to do. According to psychologists, the quantity of satisfying interactions between spouses determines how happy a relationship is. Those that do not get along have more negative interactions than positive ones. Couples that have negative connections resent one another and feel angry and contradicting. Generally speaking, when one or both of the partners feel trapped with no escape or when they both stop appreciating one another's efforts. Conflict is exacerbated by sexual incompatibility or adulterous relationships. They start to fight regularly and explode at the slightest inconvenience you didn't pick up the clothes from the cleaners, that indicates you don't want to get involved in the difficulties of the house and you stopped loving me. Partners frequently stop doing those little nice things that were supposed to make their relationship stronger. Neglect, disputes, and repeated criticisms are evident against this backdrop. Many of these tense exchanges are caused by partners' inflated expectations of one another or their unfavorable assumptions about the union as a whole. Example, our relationship has completely failed and I don't see any possibility of reconciliation. This catastrophic thinking only serves to obstruct partner communication and fuel an ongoing cycle of conflict. In every relationship, there will be disagreements, but what counts is how we handle them. Here are some suggestions to keep in mind that will help you manage your conflict in a healthy way because how you resolve a conflict with your partner can determine whether your relationship is healthy or unhealthy. 1. Establish a welcoming atmosphere to encourage open dialogue. You and your partner are able to communicate openly about both the problems and the positive aspects of your relationship. It's crucial to discuss both the relationship's positive aspects and its issues, so that nobody feels as though they are doing everything wrong. It may be a sign of an unhealthy relationship if you feel like you can't discuss sensitive topics like life issues, finances, aspirations, or anything else that is important or frightening to you. You may be in an abusive relationship if you feel unable to express your emotions without worrying that your partner may retaliate or become too irritated and defensive. 2. Attempt to maintain composure even during tense interpersonal conflicts. Keep your insults to a minimum toward your partner. Stay on subject and refrain from bringing up previous issues. Intense physical or verbal violence from your partner during fights may be a sign that the relationship you are in is abusive. Remember, you shouldn't ever feel afraid to express your opinions or that you need to be careful not to enrage your partner. 3. Attempt to comprehend your mate. When you and your partner argue, it may be because someone's needs aren't being satisfied. Consider whether there may be a greater issue if your partner frequently seems to become irritated over little matters. It may be that you are not investing enough time in your relationship if, for instance, your partner is dissatisfied that you go out with your friends during the middle of the week. Spend some time attempting to think like your partner would. Instead of trying to convince your partner of your argument, be understanding with them. Four. Keep an eye out for indications that your partner wants to dominate you. 
A huge red flag is if you sense that your partner is attempting to control what you do. It may be a sign that your partner is attempting to control you if they get upset when you talk to someone or wish to limit the amount of time you spend with your loved ones. It is crucial that you understand that this is not typical in a healthy relationship, even if he claims that he is only acting in this way out of fear or because he finds it difficult to trust you as a result of having been let down frequently. 5. Establish a neutral position. Finding a balance between your partner's preferences and your comfort level is crucial. You won't feel like you have to make a significant sacrifice if you and your partner are committed to making the relationship succeed. Conflict can be resolved by compromise, and it's simpler than you might think to reach a middle ground. Make a schedule if you and your friends are fighting over who you should spend your free time with, but it is okay if you occasionally go out separately and then meet up at home. 6. Choose a cause that justifies your battle. We encourage you to view your opt-out options in Recontent's privacy policy, 